achievement of yet another milestone, which is the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between ZRA and DEC. Guest of honor, let me mention that ZRA and DEC have been working together in the fight against money laundering, tax crimes, and other predicate offenses. However, this MOU will strengthen and enhance the collaboration and the cooperation between the two institutions. Guest of honor, sir, Attorney General, and the Chairman of AMLA, Mr. Likango Kalauka, State Council. Allow me this afternoon to write on the protocol already set by Tops and Catherine in order to save time and proceed. I am excited today, and what a way of assuming the Office of Commissioner with this important event. I would like to welcome all of you today at this important event where ourselves as the Drug Enforcement Commission and the Zambia Revenue Authority will be signing an MOU after a lot of groundwork and after a lot of cooperation for the work that started in 2015. You may wish to know, colleagues, that the MOU that will be signed today relates to operational cooperation in the sphere of illicit importation and exportation of goods and money laundering predicated on tax offenses. As indicated, the work that started way back in 2015 went through a very rigorous process of consultation in order for ourselves to incorporate emerging issues before we could finally come to this stage. Chairperson of AMLA and Attorney General, on behalf of my elder brother here, the Commissioner General, and indeed on my own behalf, I would like to thank you most sincerely for accepting our invitation. We are so excited and pleased to host you at this event as our guest of honor and chairperson of AMLA, which indeed oversees the formulation, coordination, and implementation of anti money laundering policy and strategy in this great country. It is through your guidance, sir, and indeed our cooperation with sister institutions like the Zambia Revenue Authority that we formulated a subcommittee early this year to handle matters on cases of cash smuggling. You may wish to note that this committee has been meeting on a regular basis and AMLA will accordingly be briefed on the activities, particularly training programs for the Zambia Revenue Authority and the Drug Enforcement Commission officers in matters related to, among others, cash smuggling. Members of AMLA present here today and distinguished guests, may I ask them to mention here that the two institutions that will be signing this MOU today have over the years continued to effectively collaborate in carrying out their mandates. 
This MOU, therefore, will enhance the existing collaboration in combating and preventing drug trafficking, tax crimes, money laundering, and other offenses related to the importation and exportation of prohibited or controlled goods or substances and cash. I, I, I was joking with my colleagues, I said, crime can never be fought in isolation. And we can never emphasize the importance of collaboration. I recall vividly when I was doing my undergraduate program in law, one of the courses that gave me a lot of trouble was tax law. And uh, I barely cleared it, barely clearing it. And when I looked at this collaboration, I said, wow, this is the way to go. In order for us in the law enforcement to understand the intricacies of taxation and enforcement of the law, we need this collaboration so that we understand what goes on in the institution that is responsible for collection of revenue. And this will help us understand when it comes to investigations of crime. Commissioner General, sir, I thank you most sincerely for your commitment to this fight. And indeed for the cordial relationship that has existed between the Zambia Revenue Authority and the Drug Enforcement Commission, and in particular, for facilitating this ceremony today. Distinguished guests, and particularly the media, a quick synopsis of the money laundering related crime trends indicate that the predominant predicate offenses to money laundering continue to be fraud, theft, embezzlement, drug trafficking, corruption, and tax evasion. Further, the results of the ML and TF national risk assessment that was conducted in the year 2016 showed that there is a real presence of money laundering which requires government interventions. The findings of this assessment indicated that corruption, tax evasion, drug trafficking, theft and fraud are the prevalent predicate offenses in Zambia. In the period 2017 to 2019, the Drug Enforcement Commission through our Anti-Money Laundering Investigations Unit received a total of 80% of them were concluded successively in courts through convictions. Ladies and gentlemen, Zambia is a landlocked country in South Central Africa, bordered by eight countries, and its borders are used for smuggling goods and as transit points for trafficking of persons, drugs, and cash. To effectively curb cross-border related crimes and tighten border security, the Zambia Revenue Authority, the Drug Enforcement Commission, and indeed other law enforcement agencies require to collaborate closely and strengthen the intelligence exchange within and among regional states in order to dismantle criminal syndicates. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to end by repeating that the MOU between these two institutions shall enhance the existing collaboration to safeguard the nation's security and development as well as raising of government revenue. We are here as Drug Enforcement Commission 
particularly the team that I'm working with, that we shall be open to your guidance, sir. We shall be open to consultation. And don't get tired of us when we come to consult and talk. The more we talk, the better we shall become. I thank you. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Uh, that was the DC Commissioner, Dr. Musanda Smoy. At this moment, ladies and gentlemen, it's my other privilege to invite upon the Commissioner General from the Zambia Revenue Authority, Mr. Kingsley Chanda, to address us. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen. sustain revenue collection and administration for a prosperous standard. In achieving this, we are guided by our core values, which are taxpayer focus, integrity, professionalism, innovation, and networking. Through networking and collaboration, the Zambia Revenue Authority has decided to sign memorandum of understanding with strategic institutions within and outside Zambia. Attorney General, you may wish uh, to know that we recently signed the Memorandum of Understanding with the Tanzania Revenue Authority, and that is working very well in curbing smuggling on the uh, Nakonde border. The, prim the primary objective of this cooperation is to exchange vital information which will enhance revenue collection and improve border security. This MOU is meant to strengthen the working relationship between the Zambia Revenue Authority and the Drug Enforcement Commission. The roles of these two institutions are very critical to the nation. In our line of duty, we both come across vital information that has to be shared with each other in order to support our operations. This MOU will, act, will facilitate the exchange of this vital information. It is a known fact that crime involving cash smuggling, drug trafficking, tax evasion, and money laundering is on the rise in our country. Hence, this is becoming more and more important for law enforcement agencies to collaborate. This therefore calls for such initiatives as the one we shall be witnessing today. Governments world over are losing revenue through illicit financial flows. The Zambia Revenue Authority stands ready to collaborate with the Drug Enforcement Commission in order to halt tax evasion, money laundering, and traf drug trafficking. Needless to say, sir, that we have been working very closely with the FIC on monitoring cash movements within Zambia and transiting through Zambia. We have passed on vital information to the FIC, and they have given us very good feedback in terms of uh, possible loopholes that we have been working to uh, seal. This collaboration will be extended to the Drug, in, Drug Enforcement Commission on a monthly basis. Finally, sir, let me take this opportunity to thank the Office of the Attorney General, which is your office, the Drug Enforcement Commission, and AMLA for making this MOU possible and, as a, and a reality in our country. As the Zambia Revenue Authority, we shall ensure that our obligations in this MOU are fully implemented. I thank you. Big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. At this moment, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, allow me to invite the Attorney General 
to come and address us. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I should just adopt the <laughs> protocols which were given earlier by the MC. And maybe, may I simply say, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to you all and good afternoon. I thank you for the privilege that has been accorded to me to be the guest of honor at this very important event, which seeks to promote a Zambia which is free from economic, financial, and related crimes. I also want to specifically thank all the members of the Anti-Money Laundering Authority, and indeed everyone who is present here today for supporting this noble cause. Ladies and gentlemen, the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Drug Enforcement Commission and the Zambia Revenue Authority, which we shall be witnessing today, is a step in the right direction. It is aimed at enhancing collaboration among law enforcement agencies and other anti-money laundering competent authorities. And this is intended to effectively combat and prevent crime in general. And also, resultant acts such as money laundering, terrorism, and the proliferation financing. There is need to have effective mechanisms in place which enable competent authorities to cooperate and where appropriate to coordinate and exchange information concerning the development and implementation of policies and activities to prevent and combat crime. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a requirement for all countries under the recommendation number two of the Financial Action Task Force standards and the attendant interpretive notes. As chairperson of AMLA, I am delighted to witness the signing of this MOU and in order to enhance collaboration between the Drug Enforcement Commission and the Zambia Revenue Authority in combating and preventing cash smuggling, which, as you know, is one of the oldest forms of money laundering. To this effect, AMLA has resolved that a joint committee of officers from the two institutions, that is, the Zambia Revenue Authority and the Drug Enforcement Commission, should form a joint committee which will spearhead the works that are of common interest to the two institutions. In fact, the signing of the MOU we are about to witness today is actually part of the efforts being made by the Trade Joint Committee. Having adequate me measures in place to detect and prevent illicit cross-border transportation of cash and bearer negotiable instruments is also a requirement for all countries under Recommendation 32 of the Financial Action Task Force 
and of course the associated interpretive note. The Drug Enforcement Commissioner and the ZIA Commissioner General are both members of AMLA. As you may be aware, AMLA, that is the Anti Money Laundering Authority, is established under the Prohibition and Prevention of Money Laundering Act No. 14 of 2001 to ensure a coordinated effort in combating money laundering at the highest level of all members of AMLA. The membership of AMLA, as has been indicated, include the governor of the Bank of Zambia, of course the director general of the Anti-Corruption Commission, the director general of the Financial Intelligence Commission, among others. The parties to the MOU we'll be witnessing being signed today have recognized the need for effective mechanisms for the collaboration and coordination in the fight against tax crimes, money laundering, and other vices, and have agreed to enter into this MOU for the common good. The MOU is premised on various areas of cooperation whose effective implementation will enhance the fight against drug trafficking, tax crimes, money laundering, and other offenses related to the importation and exportation of prohibited or controlled goods, or substances, and cash. In this MOU, the parties are obliged, among others, to exchange information, conduct joint and parallel investigations, as the case may require, and to conduct joint operations or capacity building activities. Continuous training of ZRA and drug enforcement officers in the latest models of parandi and combating techniques will enable the two institutions to be up to date with the technological advancement in their fields of operation. As you may be aware, tax evasion is one of the most prevalent predicate offenses to money laundering in Zambia. The signing of this MOU shall ensure effective cooperation in order to combat and prevent tax evasion and to create a stable business, economical, political, and social environment in the Republic of Zambia. In the premises, I wish you well in the implementation of this MOU, which I expect will be premised on enhanced collaboration and cooperation between the two institutions. I thank you.